One of the easiest things to do if you're, if you're trying to make a point about politics is that it's always running for the people who have already won, right? Case in point, we have a situation where a bunch of big banks make a gigantic investment, make, take a gigantic risk with risky mortgages. They start to fall apart. Everybody starts freaking out. This is a contagion that's going to ruin the entire world. And all these people that made these terrible bets, they all came out okay. And you helped that happen. So what do you, what do you tell people? What do you tell yourself that makes that feel good? Well, so I worked, uh, I was a senior official in the U.S. Treasury Department during the economic crisis. And for a year, when the economic crisis hit in 07, the banks were calling saying we're in trouble. And we said, flush the toilet. You made bad investments. You own it. Nobody owes you anything. You don't deserve any help. Woo! <laughs> but when, and that's true, by the way, but when the entire U.S. economy was on the verge of collapse, and literally we were facing a Great Depression scenario where your ATM wouldn't work. You type in your code, no money comes out. You get your paycheck, you can't cash it. How do you pay your rent? How do you pay your mortgage? That's when both Republicans and Democrats said, you know what, we have to stabilize the economy. But if we're going to do it, we're going to design it in a way that we get all of the taxpayers' money back. And so I'm proud that we got President Bush and President Obama to work together. We got Nancy Pelosi and John Boehner to work together. And then we got all the money back and even made a $15 billion profit for the taxpayers. There's no program in American history that's ever done that.